Hello. Good to see you. All right there, Revenants, welcome back to Code Vein in the Road to 100, where today we're in the Ridge of Frozen Souls, and we're going to be fighting Nicola and all the Boreal Brutes, and we're going to have a lot of fun through here. So we're going to run a little bit of Charge Attack, we're going to run a little bit of Devour uh, for getting our access to Flame Barrage, and we're going to run Venom, and also Venom Buff. Now this is very interesting when you do get uh, Venom going on your weapon, because Venom Buff and Debuff Buildup do not interact, but Debuff Buildup and Venom Mark and a uh, Venom Chrome, they do interact. So. This is pointing towards the weapon and Venom Mark, and this is just in the event that we get focused. Now, during the uh, Nicola fight, typically you are getting focused, so it is a worthwhile uh, uh, debuff to have active. Now, we are going to run Juggernaut here on Queen's Breath, um, just for, you know, why not? Um, because the Black Great Sword kind of makes up for the... Uh, problems that we are having and if we go for steady bulwark we also get a 100 percent block across the board which is very 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 nice and we can just uh go ahead and slap this guy and who cares about what he's doing so uh as we come around the corner here we want to do a charge attack and get rid of the dogs uh in one fell swoop there okay now we can go for um you know a bunch of uh, uh venom here on these enemies because that uh is very very good to go for and as you can see we almost poison enemies uh in one go uh in one attack so it takes us two two attacks in order to get an enemy uh poisoned uh which is fine for these guys uh because they don't really pose uh too much of a threat okay He's doing that, so we'll go for a Dragon Lunge, and we'll put him out of his misery there. Okay, so let's go for Juggernaut now, for, because, you know, uh, sure, why not? And this fellow, when he puts his shield up, that's completely fine, uh, because um, there's nothing there uh, really worrying me, because we do have Flame Barrage. Okay, and we'll just go for um, a kill here on him. Now, uh, that was kind of interesting that uh, he didn't really flinch too much on uh, on really anything we were doing, uh, which is kind of weird, but uh, that's okay. We'll be able to uh, knock him down here and then go for a dragon lunge and uh, put him out of his misery. We'll head over there and, and meet up with those fellas, uh, but now we have access to this missile so we can... Oh, okay, gotta get the sandwich, or the soap, the sandwich is in the cathedral, I forgot, uh, but we will... Uh, not really take too much damage from these guys even though we uh we are running a slash uh a uh, crush veil right and uh so that is um not something uh very uh good at the moment because as you can see there uh we don't uh take damage very well now uh since this will be very very bad to use juggernaut versus these um versus these boreal brutes uh we can block though uh, which is very, very nice that we can block his attacks. Ouch. Okay. Sure. What are you going to do? Okay. Oops. And now we are focused, so it's uh, poison all the way here. So let's uh, go up here. Let's go ahead and heal. And we'll go for a charge booster. And maybe we can get him poisoned because we're still... Oh. We're, we are still... Uh, uh, up there on poison value. Now he's gonna do that, but we can uh, stagger him uh, to no end there. And this uh, this weapon absolutely makes a joke of the Boreal Brutes, which is very, 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 very nice. Uh, now he did get poison there, so he uh, was taking some amount of poison damage, which is great. Come on, do something. Oh, we're both waiting for each other to do something. There we go. And uh, if we do get focused versus these things, um, that would be excellent. But as you can see there, they have a really, really weak uh, poison resist. And so we're able to get them poisoned in two hits, but we're also able to kill them in two hits. So it doesn't really matter what uh, our venom is doing to these enemies. Um, now, versus these big fellas in here, it's absolutely going to be uh, very, very helpful and useful to have venom running. And uh, as you can see... We don't really have a whole lot of I-Core recovery on our Blood Veil, 
um, or uh, on our uh, weapon, uh, but we do have very, very good uh, recovery on backstabs, which is very, very nice. Okay, and we can go for a charge attack here and put him down. Uh, not a problem for us. And we don't really need steady bulwark, um, but in the event that we get up here to somebody like this, uh, we can just block everything and go for a backstab easily and uh, finally there. <laughs> Just kind of a casual, just a casual kill here. Okay, uh, and let's uh, let's go do the boreal brute over here, uh, just because why not? Um, the more of them that we get to kill, the better I feel. Oh, we didn't get to knock him off the edge. That is unfortunate. Come on, Eo. What are you doing with my light work here? Hey, okay, he's gone. This guy uh, will just, I guess, charge him down. Okay. And then uh, as we get over here, we'll go for a Venom. And we'll go for a Charge Booster. That'll work nicely. And then uh, this fella is going to think he's got, uh, you know, some ability here. Oh. Okay, so we'll let him do that. And then we'll go for a Charge Attack. Okay. And another one. Okay. And this will kill. Oh, <laughs> we missed him there somehow. Okay. So cool. Uh, yeah, just just a fun, easy, casual jaunt uh, through the Ridge of Frozen Souls here. Um, and uh, you can see just how good of a uh, of an offensive gift uh, this uh, <laughs> this entire weapon uh, actually is. And it doesn't matter if you have Bridge to Glory going or not, it will do fantastic work uh, with or without Bridge to Glory. It just makes it uh, that much crazier when you uh, go for it. Okay, so this guy will just uh, burn him in the back and then a, uh, a little bit of uh, Dragon Lunge there. Uh, Dragon Lunge is one of my most favorite uh, gifts for um, an actual physical gift. It's a really, really good gift, and this is where Steady Bulwark can come in handy, is this guy is very, very precocious here on the uh, ledge edge, <laughs> and so it's uh, it's really, really beneficial if you can just uh, erase him uh, without too much issue there. So, And this guy also does have some pretty mean, nasty opening attacks, so we will uh, just go ahead and block him. Free, easy backstab, how nice of him. Excellent. Okay, and then you know the drill here. Okay, so that that combo of uh, backstab into uh, whoops into flame barrage with a uh, follow up dragon lunge uh, on this weapon it just absolutely slices these guys. Okay, and then we have oh we have two dogs here. Typically the second dog does not uh, join us. So that's kind of funny that he decided to come out and play, but that's fine by me. Okay, and we'll go for poison, we'll go for another charge booster, obviously, and then uh, let's head over. Uh, whoops. Okay. Oh, excellent. I can just launch you now, because now we have uh, huge amounts of venom, so that is uh, really, really bad for him, because now he's going to be poisoned. And uh, he'll take another flame barrage here. And he's going to poison out. Uh, almost. Okay. I guess we'll just head in here. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that was uh, unfortunate there that he had several um, uh, damage reduction areas there. Yes, yes, yes. Now it's interesting with the other fellas there. Okay, can you just walk over here, please? Okay. Okay, this guy's poison. Twinkle Toes is dancing. Okay, and we'll just do a charge attack on distance here. Uh, and the dumb gunner, of course. Okay. What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> now we're focused, so we have high poison. Very high poison. Uh, let me show you the uh, the Venom value, 63, uh, which is really, really good um, because we have 25 with debuff buildup, and then we get uh, uh, 38 
right? 25 and 38, yep. It's not as impressive as a uh, stun buff, but it is still uh, a very, very good amount of uh, value. Okay, I think uh, I think we'll just go ahead and heal, and then we'll uh, move on into Nicola Boy. Um, but uh, Venom buff is pretty good overall, and as you see here, uh, whoops, not here, here, we're at 25 and we were at 63, so yeah, 38, uh, which is which is still really, really good value, um, because uh, Venom is pretty hard to come by. Okay, this is the crypt. You are correct. Okay, and for Nicola, uh, we can definitely go for some blocking here, which is very, very nice that you can do that, um, because he does have some pretty nasty attacks, and so if we can block a few of them, I mean, it, it works out. We just can't block some of the dashes. Okay, this is one of them, as you can see there. Uh, we were able to block that, which is very nice. Okay, whoops. Okay. And we'll go for a charge attack here because uh, why not? <laughs> it does wonderful. Oh, good grief. Okay. I can't believe uh, we missed that. Okay, now we have Mega Poison. Okay. Oh, ouch. Okay. And we'll go for another charge attack here. Okay, let's go ahead and heal a couple times. Well, maybe once. Uh, oh, there's the glitch. Okay. And that should stagger him. Oh, no, it didn't. Oh, heal. Wow. Okay. He is uh, very aggressive. Okay. There we go, now we're focused. So now we will get a huge amount of poison uh, available. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, let's go ahead and heal because he's uh, being a meanie here. All right, and another charge attack. Okay. And another charge attack. Oh, no, I'm dead. Okay, now we're focused, so that's good, because we have really, really good amount of, uh, of, uh, poison. But, uh, he's pretty much dead anyway, so we'll just end it there. Okay. Goodbye, Nicola. You will be missed. Yes. Oh, that's pretty cool. He's, like, coming to grab me. I like that one, actually. Yeah, this is a good one. I was debating between something like this here with Nicola... And uh, with the Boreal Brutes, I think this will be a much, much better one uh, than <laughs> than with the Boreal Brutes. Even though those guys are a lot of fun, uh, we'll, uh, we'll go back and uh, play around with them uh, a little bit as well. <laughs> yeah, this is cool. Okay, um, hey Nicola. I guess we'll do one, one, one blur amount. Okay. And let's see here. Yeah, this is a this is typically a good one. Uh, actually, we could go with blue blood. It's pretty nice. This is typically typically pretty dark, um, but you can l brighten it up by going with zero vignette. You can't really see Nicola though, uh, so let's go with blue blood. Yeah, that's nice. Maybe one more brighter. Darken up the edges. Okay, I like this. Cool. Anyways, uh, that's uh, <laughs> that's Nicola. That is Queen's Breath. And uh, we just kind of... Uh, it wasn't even really a good fight with Nicola. But uh, the Boreal Brutes, um, as you can see, uh, those guys you can actually do very well against. Uh, and typically, you know, you, you can't really do... Too much versus them because they're they're just really 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 tough they're uh dodging all over the place they're rolling all over the place they're going all over the place it's uh it's really really wild and this is where you would obviously get queen's breath uh so that's why i kind of wanted to um you know do it here just to see you know how how it actually runs and uh, what you can do with it 
and now Louie's going to talk, but uh, then we'll head to the Silent White, and we'll take on the Double Boreal Brutes, and uh, those guys uh, are pretty rough overall. Hi. Hello. Always have to talk to the human woman. Human uh, revenant woman survivor. Okay, here comes Eo talking about Leda. This is a optional cutscene if you don't talk to Eo outright. Do you have a moment? And if you try and leave, uh, she will uh, initiate this cutscene and then she'll go through her regular um, she'll go through her regular speeches and everything. So that's kind of fun. If you uh, didn't know about that, you can uh, you can see all this here, uh, just like this. And so it's best if you just talk to Eo first, okay? Please. There we go. And that's why you uh, can't talk to the human woman before uh, Eo and everything. Okay. And Silent White. There we go. And we'll see just how we do versus a double boreal brute because one of them, uh, obviously, you can uh, like burst him down pretty quickly and easily. So it's this one, this one over here. And uh, it makes for some really uh, simple, quick work uh, overall. But uh, when you have Lost two of them nearby. and they're like throwing things at you and they're making your life miserable and everything, uh, you know, just just how well uh, does it uh, back a punch here? Oh, yo, I didn't get the backstab. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate. Okay, that's okay. I guess uh, we'll just get Doggo here. Good. And uh, we'll definitely be going for our charge boosters here because as these guys get focused, uh, that is very, very bad for us. Uh, definitely all the things here. Um, and a charge booster. And I guess we'll go for Venom uh, first. Okay. Okay, we'll go for this guy first. Whoops. Okay. Good, we got a backstab. So that will uh, put him into a very precarious uh, situation here. Okay. You can see he's he's poisoned now. Uh, backstab for, for a wonderful uh, iframes there. Okay, good. He's gone. Okay, this guy uh, <laughs> definitely needs to be launched. <laughs> and uh, we do have a wonderful Venom here. So let's see if we can get him uh, poisoned. There we go. Okay. There he goes. And, oh, there goes poison for him. So yeah, two, two of them. Uh, that is a very, very difficult fight. Um, it is astronomically hard to uh, just waltz in and do that. But the uh, Black Greatsword uh, definitely uh, shows why it's such a versatile tool. Um, for almost every enemy and every boss in the entire game. So I hope this playthrough is opening your eyes to uh, where the Black Great Sword can excel and what uh, what times you would use what for it and uh, why it would be good to use it versus the different enemies. So um, let's see. Uh, that was the two of them. I think, uh, I think this is the single one, if I remember right. And uh, let's go let's go bully him around a little bit. And uh, it really doesn't matter what enemy you come up against with this sword. Uh, you can absolutely do just incredible, incredible things with it. Uh, versus enemies that, you know, typically you have trouble with. Enemies you, you know, don't like. Enemies uh, you have a hard, hard time uh, in general with. Um, you know, it can really, really make some, uh, some really difficult uh, problems just disappear altogether. Yeah, so here's this guy. So since it's only one of them... Obviously, uh, we can uh, kind of bully him pretty hard here. He was almost dead uh, somehow. She's like uh, over there doing stuff. Okay, and uh, if we can get a backstab first, uh, maybe not here. Okay. Okay. He was here now. Okay, let's just hit him at least once here. There we go. <laughs> And a uh, backstab is really, really good news for us here. Okay. Yeah, I don't want you doing that. Good. Now he's focused. So let's hit him with a dragon lunge. Okay. And he's going to die anyways. Uh, right here. There we go. Yeah, so uh, these guys, even though they are 
a very, very hated enemy. Um, you can absolutely destroy them uh, with the Black Greatsword, and those Blood Pillars will knock off their uh, Ice Armor. I know you didn't really get a good uh, showing of that, but it will knock it off, so... Uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the Ridge of Frozen Souls here with the Black Great Sword. Remember Queen's, Queen's Breath and uh, Venom all around here. We didn't get a Venom cartridge, but that's okay. We're, we're doing enough Venom uh, as it is. So uh, we'll see you guys uh, tomorrow in the um, Ashen Cavern, right? So we'll see you there.